All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to another Shoe Snob Blog unboxing video series, One Take Wonders. Here we are, back again with something old, but something new. But please do me a favor. If you enjoy these videos, hit a like. Please subscribe if you don't already. You know, the algorithms are actively trying to suppress you these days, and the way you fight back is by getting support from your followers, and that is in the form of engagement through likes, comments, follows. So please do support. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys that tell me you appreciate my videos. If you do, please help me by doing those things. So let's take a look. Back with another double whammy. Something we have looked at before, but something that has been now upgraded. Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's cut straight into it. So the company in question is Yoso out of Singapore. Now, if you follow Yoso, you might notice that they've been a bit, I don't know how to put it. it seems like something's off. And full disclosure, I'm not sure how much I can say, but I know that they've gone through ownership changes um, and when you go through those things you have hiccups uh, a lot of changes need to be made into the company to you know reset certain things but the uh, current owner who's always been a part of the ownership uh, Jackson you all sorry Jackson if I'm butchering your last name uh, who I'm a fan of who I've been working with for years now uh, now has full control and in his words has been working hard to better everything from the clothing. My clothing that I'm wearing is from Yoso, not the shirt, but the jacket, the trousers, uh, the shoes, everything basically. But being that I've done that myself, I know how long, how hard, and how much fine tuning needs to be done to, to make that all happen. So first things you're gonna notice are obviously the shoes because this is what I promote and show. Uh, I've gotten new clothing and I can't say it seems better than the old clothing. So step by step, they are working towards progressing with better quality materials making for the future. And I can say they're doing a great job. So let's take a look. Now, forgive me in order to shoot with no background noise because I don't have a super technical microphone and I'm not good at editing. I have to turn off the AC. So if you see me sweating a little bit because it's very humid in New York, that's the reason why. All right, so Yosol & Co. They have new branding now and they have surprisingly sent me these beautiful new boxes. Now, I won't lie, the original boxes by Yosol were a bit underwhelming and these on the other hand are amazing. Um, now, I don't think this is a real, it's not real leather, but whatever it is, it's a beautiful material for a shoe box. Obviously, it's gonna be very strong, not like your typical paper shoe boxes that are weak and can break at the corners from simple shipment. These are very sturdy, very nice. Love the logo embossed on there. Now, there's nothing on my pairs probably because this is all still kind of prototyping towards the new collections and whatnot. So we're taking a first look at it here. All right, so new pairs come with this beautiful natural, I don't think that's horn, but a, a plastic that looks like natural horn, shoe horn, which is nice, flexible. It's definitely more flexible than my shoe horns. I have the same exact shape that are a harder plastic. Uh, it's got nicely bubble wrapped. Let's just grab the shoes. Put the shoehorn away and the box away. Let me grab the other pair quickly. So shoehorns in both. This is nicely lined as well with the nice like brown felt, soft felt, I don't know, whatever that is. Sorry, I'm not a cloth expert. Beautiful boxes, nice presentation, nice packaging. I love these bags too, these velour bags, really nice. New branding everywhere, everything is well done. Let's see what the inside of the bag. Yeah, you know, pretty just the other side of the velour, but very nice bags. All right, so you're gonna see a pattern here. 
those that know me, you'll understand. All right, so we have here two braided string tassel loafers. We all know that I love loafers. We all know that I love long braided string tassels. I love tassels. Now, I love black suede, I love apron. <laughs> I mean, let's, just, let's just see what I'm wearing today. Oh, black suede apron butterfly. So there you go. You can see what I like. Now this on the other hand is a model that I've loved for a long time. Now, the first person I really saw do this was actually an older Singaporean brand called Ed Ed All that never, that sadly did not uh, succeed in that brand. They were one of the original Singaporean shoe brands and they had sent me a model similar to this that I've always loved. Um, and so kind of recreated that look and that idea working with Jackson here to make some some cool new models some cool new ideas that I think will do really well for that brand and so yeah here we are with a new model by them so this is these two loafers are made with their what I presume is their new production now I'd never confirmed is that a higher caliber of the same makers or new makers I didn't ask you know a lot of this was in the making and hush hush show um, but n oh wow that's interesting I'll share that in a second new production in terms of better so they say now I saw their very first hand welted shoes like five years ago and then I know they improved since then but I didn't really see uh, a ton of the newer ones in between so definitely when I'm comparing against the original pair these are much better so let's just start taking a look at some of the details here I, I actually really like the new branding the Yosun Co and the script I love script writing and this looks like a, just a very cool signature uh, so you got that there the soles are really nice you got a deep fiddle back you can see a lot of handwork here I love the uh, detail around the sole that you normally see on the heel in fact you see it here so they put that same detail around the sole connected to the fiddle back detail all very well thought very beautifully done um these are obviously they're hand welted line but i feel like there's far more hand work put into this um most likely that is machine sewn with a very, very tight stitch to the inch ratio here on the welt. The waists are nice and tight. It's a very tight waist, so they really bring in that. That's definitely got to have some handwork involved. I wouldn't be surprised if 80-90% of the shoe was hand done. Uh, beautiful stuff. Let's take a look at the other one, sole. So here you have a really nice combo leather rubber with the rubber kind of topi built into their sole, Vibram. Got a nice little grip uh, tread there. Love the little nail details on the corners there. That's very smart because that is a weak point for it to come out, you know. These types of things are not made permanent, you know. They're, they have their weak points and, and for, unfortunately, concrete versus rubber and or leather concrete always wins you know that battles will stay till the end of time so you got to do things to kind of reinforce really beautiful nail work very tightly done uh that's not easy you know nailing is not easy not doing it nicely so again beautiful beautiful waists i love the waist got nice slanted pitched heels there but not crazy overly done i i do feel there is a there's a fine line between an exaggerated pitch teal and a nice pitch teal this is a nice pitch teal follows the curvature of the top heel straight to that line beautifully done not too high and these cuban style heels this is not a cuban style heel please note pitch teal is not cuban a cuban heel is pitched but a pitch dress shoe heel is not a Cuban heel. I'll explain that in another video. Um, 
beautiful detailing. I love the the fiddle. Even though I wouldn't, have, I would probably not put fiddle back on my own shoes just because everybody else is doing it now. It's a they do a really nice one. It's very deep. It's nice and trim here, which is beautiful. But it's not excessively trim, so the shoe doesn't look effeminate. You know what I mean? It's still robust and and very masculine looking, in my opinion. All right, so new construction quality, beautiful, flawless. No errors on the shoes beautifully tight stitches to the inch on the sole nice heel work fiddle back work definitely a lot of hand work in here so when you have hand work you can you know find little discrepancies but that's what shows that it's hand done and not just fully machine done and again these types of little you know is this line as straight as a Japanese bespoke shoe? No, but again, you're not paying that price. You're not paying $5,000 for the Japanese bespoke shoe where this looks like a cut by a laser. But, you know, for what these are, and forgive me, I did not ascertain the pricing on these new models, so I can't really share that with you. But if you reach out to Yoso, I'm sure they'll be able to help you there. One thing I want to notice, and I didn't even catch this at first, is how cool the pattern is on this. So that is an apron, stitch toe, mock toe, whatever you want to call it. But instead of the vamp sitting on top of the lateral side pieces here, the vamp is underneath. So the side pieces, this is one whole piece coming all the way around. And the vamp and the connected to the tongue is the piece underneath. You don't see that very often. And I actually think that is super cool. So let me just see if I can show you a little better here. Hopefully you can catch that. Obviously we'll do the up close detail videos, which is where you get to see cl more closely the shoes. Um, very cool pattern. I love this shoe. I love black suede. Beautiful shape. Very cool model. I love long string braided uh, tassel loafers. Very nicely done. Now over here we got the, I believe this is the Hornwing hash grain. Um, I could be mistaken, but it's definitely a beautiful hatch grain and a lovely patina burgundy. Uh, really nice, beautiful stuff. Forgot to talk about the inside of the shoe. So of course you got the new branding. You got a cool little sock liner here with uh, the little ridged edge like uh, gimping, which are those little, you know, piranha teeth looking details that you find on the brogan of shoes. So I did that on the lining, the the outline of the sock liner, which is always a nice little touch. This was interesting. You won't be able to see it. I'm going to explain it to you. Where you get the kind of details of the model M2 must be the last because these fit the same and they look the same. And I'll explain the fit in a second. But they put my name in there. Justin. UK 6.5. So, fit. I'm a UK 6.5. Um, and this was the right size. They were perfect in length. I have a somewhat slim foot, so it was funny as the suede felt a little bit more hugging than the uh, this one did, potentially because of the two pieces, whereas this is a whole cut. Whole cuts will always feel a little bit more generous, but it's definitely the right size. So I definitely recommend sticking to your right size, your, excuse me, your typical size, UK six and a half fit. Uh, I couldn't have gone down, would have been too tight, gone up would have been huge. So. Uh, standard size in there beautiful stuff got the hand welted check on the insole there with the holes so you can see that they're hand welted just take a closer look at this shoe beautiful stuff and now I can't lie I don't know if these are new trees or not uh, you got hollowed out on the bottom the hole coming through nice wooden I presume they are lasted um or close enough i can't i can't say if those are new or not because i didn't haven't seen anything i haven't seen their trees uh ever in my previous pairs so anyway beautiful stuff here i'm i'm happy that uh 
Jackson is doing great things for the brand and looking to upgrade the quality, the designs, everything. The logo, the branding, it's all coming together slowly but surely. Um, it's promising a ton of new upgrades across the whole collection, clothing included, shirting. He took away a lot of his jackets because he says he's upgrading them. So if you see you also a bit I quiet and not posting a lot and not showing a lot of new stuff it's not because they're not doing good it's because they're working on a huge revamp of the company and the quality and everything so do trust that they will be back with a boom as you can see they we've been actually working on these for a long time and they made original samples but then took them back because they kept elevating and they wanted to actually show the good stuff at the at, you know the real stuff not just some second rate so do keep uh keep your eye out on yoso stuff if you like these models feel free to reach out i'm sure they can start making them now i don't know if they're alive on the site i don't believe so but uh i know they've at least showed this one on instagram which means it's open to the public so check yoso out great shoes last time i checked a lot of their hand welted stuff is around six hundred dollars six seven hundred dollars it's all kind of made to order there's not a lot of ready to wear stock uh still a great price i mean i know i show makers that are four hundred dollars for hand welted and you know people ask why do you get this over that or that over this well you know price is one thing supporting a brand is another cool designs are another you won't get the same things they'll have different little details and you know where you live and what you pay and whether you pay the factory, you own the factory, these all make, these all make changes to the price. So um, an island like Singapore where prices are very high, you're gonna have expensive stuff coming out of there. But six, 700 for top-notch hand-welted shoes, in my mind, is not expensive at all. You pay that for junk European factory-made shoes. So, you know. Gucci loafers right now are $1,000. Imagine that for Blake Stitch. It's incredible. So, uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Definitely check them out. Beautiful stuff. Yoso is a great company. I really like and support them. Owners have always been very nice and kind. And I kind of judge a lot of times a brand based on their leadership because that's who's running the, the ship. So, anyway, thanks as always for tuning in. Please remember to comment, like, support, subscribe, share, da 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 da. I gotta say it like all the other YouTube people because I guess that's what we gotta do to keep our channels growing. Thank you and do stay tuned for more. Take care. Bye.